Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with a whole new season of the Dan Classic Show. Happy New Year! Well, Happy New Year. What Mego crap is it this week? You'll be happy to know that it's not Mego. What? You don't want anybody to watch this episode? <laughs> well, of course I do, but there's more to life than Mego. I'm sure there's some people out there that would argue that. I'm sure, in fact, I know there are, but that's not important right now, because we are starting off this season big! Oh yeah? Oh yeah! This week we take a look at Masters of the Universe Origins, Castle Grayskull! Holy shit, you actually got that thing? Hell yeah I did, and we're gonna take a look at it right now! It's Masters of the Universe Origins, Castle Grayskull! Raz Holly, hit the music! In 1982, Mattel unleashed its media monster on the world, Masters of the Universe. A sword and sorcery tale with a dash of science fiction depicted the adventures of He-Man, a cross between Conan the Barbarian and Superman, and his battles against the forces of evil led by Skeletor on the fictional planet of Eternia. At the center of this battle, is Castle Grayskull, the source of ultimate power in Eternia, of which the powers of good and evil are in constant struggle over. This world and everything in it, of course, was created to sell the Masters of the Universe toy line. And from 1982 to 1988, Masters was a big deal. And the biggest deal of the line was its original playset, Castle Grayskull, a hollow castle that doubled as a carrying case for your figures, was one of the most popular and iconic toys of the decade, and as far as playsets go, has to be considered one of the best. I got one for Christmas when I was young, and I remember being in awe of the sheer size of the thing. Of course, I was smaller then, but man, that thing was awesome! Cut to 2020 and Mattel, never tiring of trying to squeeze another buck out of the Masters franchise, released the Masters of the Universe Origins line. Figures made to look just like their 1980s counterparts, but are made with modern articulation in mind. And what would Masters of the Universe be without Castle Grayskull? Of course there's a new Castle Grayskull, and it's awesome! I am once again blown away by the sheer size of the box this thing comes in. It's got that great Masters of the Universe art. The box itself is fit for display with lots of great photos and artwork all over the thing. But I don't keep stuff in the box for long and this is no exception. So let's not waste any more time and take a look at Masters of the Universe Origins Castle Grayskull. Okay, new for 2021, Masters of the Universe, Castle Grayskull, uh, Masters of the Universe Origins, Castle Grayskull, rather, this is not the original one, if you ha if you couldn't already tell, um, it comes unassembled, apparently, Castle Grayskull, Fortress of Mystery and Power for He-Man and his foes, um, as we have some very nice, very beautiful artwork here on the box. I just wanted to take a quick look at the box here before we opened it up and just just admire the, the great looking artwork that they went to the trouble of splashing all across the front of this goddamn thing. What a fantastic looking box. And at retail, this thing is only gonna run you 80 bucks. So, you know, 20 more dollars in a brand new video game you get this gigantic playset that includes special edition Temple of Darkness Sorceress. So, um, I'm dying to open it up, but I still want to take a, a good close long look at the, the box art here and really, really get into it. We have the Masters of the Universe logo is actually embossed on the, on the, the top left corner of the box. Um, you can see this beautiful painted artwork on the box itself. You have Castle Grayskull, 
pictured here looking pretty much like it's gonna look it's just a painting of the of the toy basically comes with the flag comes with the gun um it doesn't come with any of these figures but if you're lucky enough, you might have been able to find some of them. We've got some uh, guys flying around on those little uh, those jet ski things. The sky sleds up there. Got a couple of, of planets or moons in the sky there in the, in the background. That purple, pinkish, bluish, starry, spacey sky of Eternia um, that, uh, you know, that, of course, we're, we're all familiar with if you're a fan of Masters of the Universe. And then, of course, down here, in the forefront, front and center, Skeletor and He-Man duking it out at the gates of Castle Grey Skull. We also have in the, the bottom left corner here, we have Evelyn and Triclops with some bone soldiers, some glowing bone soldiers. Um, very cool. I would like to see some of those. Um, I'm sure people can make customs and stuff that are probably better than... <laughs> than what would get released if you could even find them because the scalpers I'm sure would swipe them right up you got merman and men at arms duking it out also trap jaw my boy versus uh, Tila and beast man taking on man e faces with uh, a special guest appearance here by Stratos the only the only Greek guy in Eternia uh, and of course at the top at the top of the castle we have Zodak Zodak uh, keeping watch over the over the uh, what's going on down there, and, and we got the the sorceress jumping off like she jumped off the roof um, down onto I don't know maybe Ram Man <laughs> down there in the bottom. But very very cool looking art. Um, this is I could look at this all day. I wish I had a print of this, just this picture that yeah, I can put on my wall because it's very, very cool. But let's turn the box around and see what it looks like on the other side. All right, so now we are taking a look at the back of the box, the Masters of the Universe Origins Castle Gray Skull box. We have a, a sort of a reddish background with an actual photograph of the Castle Gray Skull itself. I'm sure the colors may vary once we get it open, um, but we've got all the all our guys, all the friends um, that are available at retail here, with the exception of our special figure included. You've got He-Man, you've got Tila, Manny Faces, Orko, Battle Cat. We've got Man at Arms, Skeletor on top, Panthor, Trap Jaw driving the Land Shark, Merman. Scareglow, Beast Man, and Evil Linen, of course, Zodak the Cosmic Enforcer, atop Castle Gray Skull, right there in the uh, in the tower, and uh, we've got uh, shows all the all the sort of accessories that we have for the Castle Gray Skull. On the front, we have the ladder um, that we can use on the back as well, and we have a photo of the the innards of Castle Gray Skull, of course around the sides of the box shows you a little bit more uh, in detail as some of the accessories and stuff like that but we don't need to worry about that because I want to open this goddamn thing up and see what it looks like outside of the box so now that we've got it out of the box and uh, we can see the front of Castle Gray Skull, I busted out He-Man and Skeletor just for scale to show you. Um, you know they they fit right along with it, just like the old days. Um, one thing I will say right off the bat, it's made of very high quality materials. Um, it feels very sturdy, much like you know what the old one felt very sturdy to me too, from what I remember of it. It's got more of a matte finish where the old one had more glossy parts to it. Um, some of the things that we're gonna see have more textures to them, um, like this door and uh, the, the floors on the inside once we get inside. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the front of Castle Gray Skull. Really, the this is the this is the, the money shot right here. The real display, what you're gonna use if you're a collector, you're gonna have this out, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna wanna have the front of Castle Gray Skull out. You know what, also, it looks really cool inside as well, so it's gonna be a, a tough decision for some people, but for me, I think I, think I wanna keep it 
just for now, I want to have the, the front of Castle Grayskulls. It is really cool to have it out like that. So, like the old days, let's get these guys out of the fucking way. And so we can get a really good look at it. And uh, so, unlike the old days, it looks a little brighter. Uh, a little bit brighter, a little bit more of a uh, exact paint job on it. In the old days, it looks like they just sort of slapdash some black paint on there. Um, and... You know what, I, I kind of like the old one a little bit. Maybe it's nostalgia talking, maybe not. Um, but they did they did go to some, uh, some trouble here. They got some extra different color green. Two or three different colors of green on here. We have some brown on the thatched roofs or the awnings that hang over here. You can see we have the little, little window holes um, that, that go off into nowhere into the back. <laughs> into the inside of Castle Grayskull. Has the handle on the top, just like the old days. And just like the old days, you can uh, fold it up and uh, attach it on the side and carry it around with you if you want. Could be a carrying case for your figures. Um, or, you know, you can just keep it if you want to store it. It's a, a good way to store it because everything is uh, is enclosed inside, ensconced in Castle Grayskull. Across the top, we've got the flag. Um, we can turn the flag around, and um, as you can see here, if I turn this flag, I'm going to pop it out of where I was going to try to. Um, I'll, I'll turn it around here. If we turn the flag around, we can see now that the castle is uh, controlled by uh, the, the forces of evil, by Skeletor and friends. Um, also, um, we can see the battlements here. We can see the laser gun. Um, and you can stand guys up there. There's foot pegs on all of these... Uh, different towers so we can have guys on the towers um, in the battlements really really cool great for display really really awesome one thing I've always loved about Castle Gray Skull is the is the detail the little the little details all the little cracks and crags and and uh, just texture to the rocks and the stone as it comes out forward and more of a more towards you here toward the bottom almost like it was built into a mountain and uh and, and up toward the top here it's you can see the the brickwork <laughs> almost ancient brickwork the random looking bricks that, that it's like it's been repaired multiple multiple times over the over the the course of of uh, centuries of millennia um very very cool very awesome um this thing tells a story just by looking at it it's a great display piece for a collector and for 80 bucks it's a fantastic play set um if little kids were into castle great skull nowadays um man this would be a great thing for them but we know that you know little kids don't really give a shit about castle gray skull and uh, before we take a look at what's inside castle gray skull we'll see another thing that came with castle gray skull it's the sorceress um here she is in all her sorceressy glory um she is in the all white getup the uh this sorceress this special edition sorceress that comes with castle gray skull old castle gray skull didn't come with with a figure that's for sure came with some shit but didn't come with a figure this one comes with the sorceress she has uh, translucent wings that can uh, retract and expand um if you want she has her little staff um which looks like uh almost more of an egyptian sort of feel she does have an egyptian sort of feel to her with the bird the bird get up. Um, I know she does turn into a bird on the show, so um, yeah, that makes sense. She's as poseable as uh, Tila or or Evil Lynn. She has the same, the same, uh, pretty much the same body, um, same legs and arms at least. The sculpt on the 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 torso and the head obviously going to be different, but for the most part, pretty much just like Tila and Evil Lynn, but very. Very cool um, that you do get something with with the Castle Gray Skull. I know that the um, what was it the uh, the Mattel's uh, con exclusives. They had all sorts of great shit that came with this. They had the the Spirit of Gray Skull. They had a, a full suit of armor. All this all these great weapons and extra horse crap that were to come with it. Um, that kind of sucks that, um, you know, normal people weren't able to get that, but hey, whatever, that's fine. Um, 
I don't care. Let's take a look on the inside of Castle Grayskull. But how, how, pray tell, are we going to get into Castle Grayskull? Well, it, we get in just like we did in the old days. Uh, we take uh, Skeletor's sword and we take He-Man's sword. And shove it up your butt. <laughs> Put them together. And you make the, the big sword of power here. And you squeeze it into the door. And ba -ba, there it is. Castle Grey Skull is open, and let's take a look inside. Okay, so now as we look into Castle Grey Skull on the inside, on the first floor, we see that Skeletor and his evil forces have taken over Castle Grey Skull. As you can see, as He Man's walking in, he, he's discovering that Man at Arms has been KO'd and uh, had his uh, had his mace shoved right up his ass. Um, he is knocked out. He is out of action, um, and and so so He Man's like, oh, what the what the hell's going on? What in blue blazes? And Tila is over here on the elevator, and she's like, oh, Skeletor's here. He's he's taken over with his uh, with his goons, and 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 I'm I'm here to help though, and I'm I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stop him. Um, and then of course Merman is here. He's an ass. Uh, he, he he should be trying to stop Tila from going to help, but he's he's been distracted by this uh, training dummy um, that we have here that has a fist on one side and a boar's head on the other. He's like, oh, time for some practice, I think. <laughs> and then, boom! You knocked out, sucker! Um, as in behind here, we can see we have a weapons rack um, with some weapons. This did come with some weapons. Not all weapons, some weapons. Behind He-Man over here on this side, we can see a sword and a mace. Uh, we can see some sort of pole arm, hand axe, whatever the hell you want to call it, and a gun. Um, all that is, is detachable, and you can reattach them and put them on all the different things. The, the, the guys can use them or whatever. And uh, in this elevator that uh, Tila's on, it really works. Let me show you here right now. Oh... All right, so now as Tila has arrived on the second floor, um, we can see that we've got uh, the sorceress facing off with Evil Lin, who has uh, swapped out the flag. So you can see the evil the evil guys are in charge here, and uh, you can see all the great details on the second floor of Castle Grayskull. So we've seen the elevator that goes up and down. We have the uh, sort of computer uh, array, this sort of computer hub um, that has a cool uh, decal on it showing space for some reason. Um, it's like it's the, the, the fucking bridge of the Starship Enterprise. Um, we have uh, what looks like to be a futuristic looking uh, radiator um, there in the in the corner of the room. And uh, in the throne room, we have Skeletor. Um, but before we go to Skeletor, let's look at Beast Man. He's, he's got on the guns to make sure that uh, nobody else can get in. He-Man got in. Skeletor, all of his uh, goons are idiots. Um, and uh, as, as Tila uh, comes in, she sees uh, Skeletor has, has taken the throne. And she's like, well, that's not so fast, Skeletor. Um, and she's going to come over here. And, and I'm going to stand her right here in front of Skeletor. Right. And let's see. Let's see if you can stand up properly. All right. And then Skeletor is like, oh, you think you're going to mess with me, see? Well, that's not going to happen. Nah. And you move the the throne. Oh, ho, 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 ho. take a hike, Tila. Oh, and uh, Skeletor is victorious. Nah, see, I'm taking Castle Gray Skull. No, uh, but then uh, He Man he jumps up through the hole, and uh, and now he's here. He's like, don't worry about it. Now I'm gonna kick some ass. I've got this sword. I'm gonna shove it up your dick hole, Skeletor. No. Don't do that to me, see? Nah, this bird's got to fly. Ha ha! And uh, Skeletor has gotten away, um, but uh, the good guys are, are have prevailed and uh, taken back over Castle Grayskull. And that is Castle Grayskull! Well, that's Castle Grayskull. What did you guys think of this playset? Let us know in the comments down below. Well, what's next, Snake Mountain? I wouldn't be surprised. 
but I'm pretty happy with just one play set for now. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music!